Say, man, for those select few that are already initiated, you should already know what this is. And for those of you that aren't, just chill. We're going to get to the other stuff in a minute. But first. See, I'm always trying to get everybody to understand that everything is vibration. So. We gonna vibe. Where y'all wanna go? I'm thinking them too. Mm-hmm. What you gotta understand is once we get there, we better be able to swim. Cause if you don't, you're gonna be bound to drizzle. And you ain't gotta worry about me. I got gills, baby. Y'all, <laughs> y'all tuned in with priceless knowledge yourself, and this right here, this ain't nothing but some cosmic insight, man. And <laughs> I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody feeling good. We vibed a little bit, but uh, <laughs> it's time to get real, man. And I just really want to know, man, what is it that you hope for? You know what I'm saying? What's going on in your dreams? That's something to consider here, cause uh, this right here. This is a little something, something about those people that have Neptune in the 11th house of their natal chart. Yeah. And see, before we go there, if you don't know my style, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to tell y'all a little bit about Neptune. I'm going to give y'all a little bit about the energy that comes along with it and how it might affect you. Then after that, I'm going to give y'all a quick breakdown of what the 11th house of the astrological chart is kind of all about. And then after that, we're going to bring them to a culmination. Okay. And so without wasting any more time, let's get it cracking. So Neptune, Neptune is named after the Roman god of the sea, and it's the modern ruler of the sign of Pisces in the 11th house. Of the, I mean, in the 12th house of the, of the natal chart. And let me tell you now, though, if you ask any Vedic astrologer, if you ask any traditional astrologer, they're going to tell you that Jupiter rules Pisces in the 12th house. But for our purposes, they're co-rulers. And I think that's a lot more fitting. And I actually think Neptune has a lot more of an influence. But. We'll talk about that at another time. And 
Neptune is considered as the higher octave of Venus, and that's because it's all about compassionate acceptance and unconditional love of all that is. OK, and I'd also call it a transpersonal planet. And that's because, you know, that along with Pluto and Uranus, they really take us into realms that are well beyond logical and rational understanding. OK, and in this case, Neptune connect us with the divine. OK, it's, it's the planet of inspiration. It's the planet of dreams. It's the planet of illusions. It's the planet of fantasies. You know, it intensifies our sensitivity and our intuition, but it could also cloud our perception of reality. You know, whatever that is. <laughs> and, you know, it takes about one hundred and sixty five years to traverse the whole zodiac. So that means it spends about 14 years in each sign. So this is definitely, you know, one that's being called a generational planet. And that means that it's going to kind of come across similar for all the people that were born in that 14 year time span. For instance, I was born in the Neptune and Capricorn generation. You know what I'm saying? But my Neptune is in the third house, which we've already spoken about. And that's cool. And, you know, when we're talking about the house placement, though, that's where things get personal. <laughs> around here, around him, we all about getting personal, man. And, you know, what that does, it'll tell you what area of life that, you know, where we might be idealistic or where we might have artistic tendencies, as well as where we might be delusional or want to escape reality. OK, whatever that is. I also want you to understand that Neptune relates to photography. Neptune can relate to film, dance music, painting, poetry, and it also kind of rules over drugs, both that have the power to heal and those that have the power to cloud our perception of reality, you know, whatever that is. And when we're talking about the aspects of Neptune, you know, that can show where, what other areas of life are affected by our dreams and, you know, where we might be divinely gifted as well as where we might not be thing, seeing things so clearly. So there's really a lot to consider there, okay? And <clears throat> let me, let, yeah, Neptune connects you with the divine, <laughs> but it, it can also show you a lot of illusion. OK. And we're talking about the 11th house. The 11th house is ruled by the sign of Aquarius and both the planets are of Uranus and Saturn. And, you know, it's here that we kind of find our goals and our objectives. And, you know, we also kind of find friendships and any memberships to any groups or associations. And the work in society that's done in the 10th is really released through the a unique individual that's doing the activities and exhibiting the energies of whatever planets show up in the 11th house. OK. And the 11th house can also speak about charitable causes. The 11th house can speak to our gains okay not our possessions which is the second house the 11th house speaks to our gains how much money you're making not necessarily how much you're keeping okay and like i said your friends and all those type of things any groups you might be a part in any gains you know all that type of stuff can be seen in the 11th house are you that type of person to be involved in that type of thing all that's going to signify that okay and so when we take neptune and, and put Neptune in the 11th house, man. So right off the reel, man, just let me tell you that, you know, this one is going to play out probably just about two different ways, man. And, you know, the housing wise, we'll probably get into that in a minute. But it's basically like this, man. <laughs> Either, you know, they're going to grow into an incredibly inspiring person who's just well respected and loved in their circles or, you know, they're going to fail in seeing the people around them real clearly and probably end up involved with a whole bunch of toxicity and, you know, maybe end up, you know, drowning in it themselves. <laughs> but as always, let me tell you, <laughs> you know, their full picture, you're going to have to look at the sign and the aspects to see what's going on with that, man. And to be honest, either way, either way, man, you know, these people's friends are really going to be significant factors in their lives and they need them to fall back on and provide support to them when they get down. But they're also going to reciprocate that, you know, that same energy, probably tenfold exponentially, man. And <clears throat> let me also say that, you know, if you come under their umbrella, they'll give you anything. They'll give you anything. They're there for you spiritually. This is a spiritual connection with your friends, okay? And like I was kind of saying earlier, you know, 
with, 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 with harmonious aspects. Let's just look at it like this, man. You know, these are usually very inspiring people who are probably irresistibly charismatic. And, you know, they are more often, most often than not, you know, they're going to have a unique and warm and just really mystical aura about them that really attracts people to them. And I've also noticed that, you know, if this is Neptune, a lot of these people, you know, probably adopt a child or they end up with strong connections to their stepchildren. So, you know, that's definitely something worth thinking about with this. OK, because the 11th house does speak about stepchildren and things like that, whether people know that or not. And, you know, I don't think I said that earlier. And let me also say that if, if I want to look deeper, man, this placement really also indicates, you know, really empathetic and genuine people who are just particularly receptive to the suffering of the world. So, you know, a lot of 11th house Neptune people really end up involved in humanitarian work. And, you know, Neptune is all about selfless service, man. And having an 11th suggests that they probably like to volunteer or at the very least, you know, get involved in some organizations that are based on the desire to make the world a better place you know that's the type of people they want to fool with at least you know what i mean and you know however you know I, let, let me think about it like this man let me think for a second you know with that lack of boundaries that they have let me put it like this man you know <laughs> they, they really have a tendency to end up giving so much sometimes that you know it, it could be a real challenge for them to take care of themselves <laughs> And while also, you know, if they're so concerned about their group and they're so concerned about everybody else and, and their cause, you know, what I mean, a lot of the times they're suffering for it, man. And, you know, they're going to have to really develop some sense of boundaries and balance here. That's what Neptune is always going to try to teach you, man. And <coughs> I've also noticed that, you know, it really messes with these people internally when other people don't like them. Like they're that type, man. And, you know, they, they bottled it up, which, you know, of course, kind of tends, you know, to lead to some really pretty embarrassing outbursts sometimes. And if there's a lot of harsh aspects, let me say that, you know, this can also indicate some, some of those unhealthy antisocial behaviors, too. And, you know, we really got to make sure that we're checking on our friends that might have Neptune in the 11th because they could draw back because they're so worried about rejection and they think that nobody really fools with them. And they're just disillusioned because everybody really loves them. Think about it. Think about it. <laughs> it, it. It can be rough, man. And, you know. The 11th also speaks a lot about our hopes, man, and, and, and our wishes. And placing Neptune here in the birth chart, it really gives these people the extremely powerful manifesting ability because, you know, they're the people that are really aligned with their higher self and the things that they aspire for. But I also would say that with, with, with some of those challenging aspects that I always talk about, it can also manifest in a person who's just never satisfied no matter what happens. And they're always just unhappy no matter what and how much they managed to accomplish and just remember that uh neptune shows where we seek the ideal and perfection so for a lot of these folks it means that they don't always have a, a, a clear goal okay so they always end up wanting more which is <laughs> that's 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 a rough road to follow man and on another note from that let me also say that you know the 11th is, is also all about our friends, but, you know, please keep in mind that this ain't talking about the deep connections, you know. These are more unemotional bonds formed around common interests and goals, and this right here shows, you know, that their attitude to large groups of people, and likewise, you know, is, is, is pretty harmonious, so they would like it to be, and they might even be disillusioned about some of the causes that they're behind, and they're like, oh, I'm behind this, and really not understanding that it's probably got some messed up stuff going on they're part of a ponzi scheme or all kinds of stuff okay and the, the sign on the cusp of this and the planets here also really you know they describe how there's how the social circle goes on and with this being neptune it suggests that these people really just enjoy the company of artists and musicians and poets and writers and and dreamers OK, they want to be around dreamers. And while most of these people right here don't necessarily pursue a career in the artistic field themselves, they're probably still really interested in such things and probably, you know, pretty talented in those areas, too, as well, man, because, you know, this is somebody who's a dreamer themselves. <laughs> this is a dreamer. 
understand and you know they love fantasy and they want to be around people who are creative that can inspire them man and if, if it ain't artistic people like i said it's just dreamers man it's just dreamers it's spiritual people who are you know really in tune with their higher self themselves or it could be just that their friends you know that they met them through church man or you know doing charity work or you know s- s- some kind of you know higher purpose man but of course this is Neptune. Don't forget that, man. This is Neptune. So a lot of the time they're either going to be involved with the wrong type of people or their friends that they have have no clue who the hell they really are either, man. So, you know, th- that's definitely some news you can use with that. And it's also possible that, you know, them and their friends, you know, might be doing drugs together with Neptune here. And, you know, that's how y'all got cool. Or that could really, you know, be ours undoing. But even if it don't play out like that, okay, just because you built like that, you don't have to build like that. And what that means is, you know, we all have all of this energy available to us. What you do with it is what you do with it. And even beyond that, it's not about what you do. It's about how you do it. And that's some priceless knowledge in itself. And this being some priceless knowledge of self. If y'all fooled me on any level, man, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you ain't hitting the dislike button, you should be hitting the like button, man. Help me hit that like button if you fool with me. Let's get these subscriptions up, man. Let's get to 10K, okay? I thank everybody so much for the love and support, man. If you're interested in any astrological readings whatsoever, you can either hit me up in the comments below or you can email me at mr.turner1300 at gmail.com, okay? If you're interested in donating to the channel, the link is in the description below, man. Also, man, if you're interested in any merch... You can do the same thing as if you want to read but understand, I want to sell it to you, and I will. Well, you can buy all of the merch you want, man, but you'll probably never be this fly. Because the thing about this type of swagger is it's got to be in you and not on you. Y'all keep it real.